Hi. Yes, and welcome to my lesson. And Thank good you afternoon. So much. Good afternoon. Yeah. What okay. time it is over there? Oh, okay. So, um, to surprise you, I'm in India right now. <laughs> you are in India? Wow. Yeah. Which place of India you are? Okay, I'm in uh, Delhi. I am also in Delhi. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, okay. I live in Noida. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, Noida. I've been there. <laughs> okay, you have been there. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, how did you come to India? Um, so I came to India because my sister is working in India. So I just came here to visit her. Okay, that's really interesting <laughs> that you are in India right now. <laughs> can you see yeah. me clearly? Um, yes, I can. Okay. Yes. Uh, how about me? Is it clear? Can you yeah, hear yeah. me well? Yes. Is it good? Yes. All right. That's brilliant. So uh, my name is Sangay and you can call me Sangay. So how would you like me to call you? Uh, you can call me Upasna. Yes. And nice to meet you, Upasna. Mm -hmm. Once again. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Okay. So uh, for this lesson, you have chosen for free conversation. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And um, before we start our lesson, would you like to do a free um, self-introduction? Yeah, please. So you start, then I'll. Okay. All right. So uh, hello once again. My name is Sangay and I'm from Bhutan. And I studied engineering at university. But right now, I'm only working as an online tutor. And during my free time, I enjoy watching movie, listening to music. And like I said, I'm in India right now. <laughs> yes. So how about you, uh, Upasna? Okay, so my name is Upasna and I'm basically from Gwalior. And mm -hmm. currently, I live in uh, Noida. I have mm -hmm. also completed my graduation this year. I have worked as an English language and communication trainer for two years. I have also worked as a content writer and wow. my hobbies are reading books, sometimes mm -hmm. listening to music mostly. Oh, okay. That's yeah. good. All right. So like uh, when you say music, what kind of music do you listen to? Uh, normally the songs, Hindi songs as our native language is Hindi. Sometimes okay. I go for English songs as well. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So do you have any like favorite artists or songs? Uh, artist and song, not the particular one, but I like uh, like some singers are there. Oh, okay. Oh, Do you understand good, yeah. Hindi? Oh, yes, but I'm not very fluent. I can like speak at an intermediate level. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, I'm asking. You can speak Hindi? Yes, yes, at an intermediate level. Wow. Can you speak some <laughs> sentences? Oh, um, yes. <laughs> okay. So like, what would you like me to say? Namaste, like... Aap kya, kaisa hai? Aap kaise ho? <laughs> oh, kaise ho? Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. So <laughs> you. Really so yeah. right now you are living with your sister. So does she speak in Hindi or? Oh yes. So she has been living in India for quite a long time. So mm -hmm. she can speak better than me. And but uh, at work she speaks in English. Um, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So where does she work? Oh, it's in Genpak. Okay, so it's near, like I have heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think it's in the same city where you're living. <laughs> yeah, so this is the first time you have come to India or? Oh no, so I've been here, I've studied here actually, I've wow. studied in Punjab. <laughs> wow, that's really great. Yeah. So did you like India? Um, yes, I think it's a really nice place, but it was a little bit difficult for me to get used to the lifestyle. Um, the lifestyle is very different. The cultures um, mm -hmm. are very different. So, at, like especially at the beginning, it was a little bit difficult. But later, I enjoyed my stay here. <laughs> so, what so, kind of differences you have uh, found here, <laughs> if you compare? Um, um, yes, actually a lot. Um, so, <laughs> like I think one uh, like big obstacles or one big difficulty I found found was especially the traffic um, so I am still scared of crossing the road <laughs> yeah that's true in Delhi like there is so much crowd seriously yes. so and it's really crowded like here um, but in Bhutan um, we our population is very small mm -hmm. and uh, we don't have to worry about the like traffic like we have a crossroad and we can just stop them and we can pass so that made it really difficult for me, especially to go outside if I if I wanted to. <laughs> yes. And other than that, yeah, I think food is very different. <laughs> food. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yes. uh, what do you eat in India these days? Um. So, um, right now, because I'm living with my sister, uh, so 
the vegetables like we can uh, we eat the same vegetables but uh, we don't put lots of spices in Bhutan so we use lots of cheese so we buy cheese and we put the cheese in our dishes um, yeah that's how we cook usually <laughs> a very simple dish so in Bhutan cheese. as well do you cook by yourself Oh yes, so at home, yes we do. Mm -hmm. So normally what kind of food people eat over there? Oh okay, so we eat spicy food, um, yes. But uh, our spiciness is a little bit different. Like I said, we don't use any spices. Mm -hmm. We mostly depend on cheese, like we get local fresh cheese in Bhutan. And we also get um, processed cheese, which is kind of similar to the one we find it in India. Okay. And um, we put lots of chili, so that's how we make it spicy. <laughs> so as you said that people eat a lot of cheese, so people must be fat over there. <clears throat> Is it true? Um, actually, no. Actually, I didn't think that people are obese, actually. I'm quite surprised. Like, um, I think it might be because many like people walk around um i think um one thing about Bhutan is our one of the big industry is agriculture and okay. many people do lots of physical work and i think they are very active so that's why we don't have many obese like people in Bhutan, which okay. is good i think <laughs> <laughs> that's really because here in india if we eat cheese and uh butter mm -hmm. then we we are most <laughs> most probably to get fra uh, fat <laughs> I see. <laughs> yes, I think there are a few, but yes, a very small number. <laughs> okay, that's really interesting. And yes. <laughs> and like uh, you are an online tutor these days, right? Yes. So before that, like uh, you used to teach offline as well, or you have just been an online trainer. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So this is my really first job as a teacher. So I've never taught anyone before. Um, yeah, so this is the only job I've done. <laughs> <laughs> so how's your experience with Ingu? Oh, really good, actually. I'm enjoying it. Um, uh, like, I am really interested in traveling and learning different cultures and mm -hmm. their language. I'm really interested in those things. So this platform gives me an opportunity to know people from different countries and their culture, the lifestyle. Yes. So as <laughs> a student, that. how can someone make the best use of Ingu? Because a lot of okay. people are not aware about it. Okay. Yes. I think um, that's really important. Like especially in this platform, I think it's really important for the student to take advantage of it and speak as much as they can. Um, like I have, I have lots of students and when I ask them questions, sometimes they give me one answer, like one word answer, mm -hmm. which is not really good. I don't think it will help you in your conversation skill. I think they need to speak, even if it's wrong, doesn't matter. You make a mistake, but you learn from it. I think that's one very important thing. Speak as much as you can. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Mm -hmm. Yes. So and usually how many students do you teach? Okay, so I am almost working like a full time. So I sometimes have like 13 classes mm -hmm. in a day and I work almost every day right now. So because I can't do anything <laughs> other than that. So I spend my time by teaching. So around 13 or 14. Okay, that's really interesting. You can travel anywhere and you can teach from home. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> that's the so, best thing. <laughs> yeah, one more question I want to ask. So how's your daily routine these days in India? What do you usually do? Oh, nothing much actually. Um, right now, as you already know, there are lots of uh, infected cases. Yeah. So I don't go out that much. Um, I usually, like right now, um, I'm having class every day, like seven days a week. Mm -hmm. And I teach like six uh, hours or six and a half hours. Rest, I would just watch movie, like spend time with my sister. Yeah, <laughs> very simple life. <laughs> So have you visited any places in uh, New Delhi? There are so uh, many places to visit. Yes, actually, um, like on 22nd December, I went out um, uh, like for a Christmas outing. Okay. I went to uh, like a few malls in Delhi. So it was quite nice. So I just went to malls, uh, like to some malls, but I didn't go to any like heritage like sites or anything. Yeah. yeah. So did you celebrate, uh, did you celebrate Christmas? Um, yes, I did, but it was a very simple one. I did it at home with my sister, and then I talked with my parents, and we just wished everyone had, yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So for how long have you been here in De New Delhi? 
oh, it's been a long time now. Yes. So I came here um, at the, like, I think I arrived in India at the end of January and it's been like 10 months My now. My God. <laughs> yeah, actually. So it, it would really be a uh, great pleasure to meet you by any chance. As you are oh, in New yes. Delhi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would be really nice actually. <laughs> yes. So you're the first tutor like who is living in India these days. Oh yes, I think like everyone is so surprised whenever I tell them, Oh, I'm in India. I'm like, Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. really interesting. Really, I, mm -hmm. I before joining this session I uh, I read about your bio and it was oh. like uh, it was written over there that you are from Bhutan. So oh, I was yes. thinking that you are from Bhutan. Yeah. <laughs> so usually what do you do in your day in Bhutan? Okay, so um like it it has been quite a long time since I haven't been to Bhutan. Mm -hmm. Um like like I said, I studied in India. So after I graduated my high school, I stayed in India for four years, but I went back during holiday. So I usually spend like time with my family and meet some friends. So that's all I did. But after that, I went to England to study again. And right now, after like I came directly from England to India, so mm -hmm. I was on my way to back home. Or yes, but I ended up staying here. So it's been <laughs> quite a long time. I haven't been there. So, <laughs> so you must have experienced so many festivals here in India. Oh yeah, I did like Diwali, like Holy Festival. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you celebrate Diwali? Oh yes, I did. Um, I remember one time I went to Shimla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, so I went and uh, celebrated the uh, Diwali in Shimla. It was really nice. Experience. So this year you went to Shimla? Um, no, it. Uh, this time I didn't. Um, mm -hmm. I just stayed here because. Um, this pandemic made it really difficult to travel around so yes I just stayed home this time nothing special <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of festivals are there in your country um, okay so uh, we don't have many festival like India um, one big festival in Bhutan is uh, our annual festival which is called Kimpu Techu Kimpu Techu yes Kimpu Techu okay. so yes it is held for three days at the end of September and it's really, really popular and like many tourists uh, like visit Bhutan during that season. So this is one big one. We also have like Blessed Rainy Day. Um, okay, so day. what people uh, usually do in this festival? How do they celebrate? Okay, so um, this in this festival like Timpu Sechu, so like many people they wear our traditional clothes very colorful ones made with sil made from silk mm -hmm. and then they like um we have a really like traditional building structure called zong um so people gather there and we have like like varieties of performance like traditional dance traditional like songs and mm -hmm. marks dance like those kind of thing like you can enjoy and people like gather and go out like have lunch with their family, okay. spend time with their friends. <laughs> That's really nice. So do they celebrate their festivals do you, uh, with their family members or with friends? Um, I think it depends. I think um, especially Timpu Techu, some like people they go with their family, some like they go with their friends, like if they have like a, a big group then mm -hmm. they usually go with their friends. Yes. I think especially teenage, like a uh, high school student, I think they prefer to go with their friends, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and, and do you live with your family in Bhutan? Oh, yes, I do. Um, yes, I still live with my family. <laughs> That's really yeah. interesting. So how did you come from Bhutan to India? It, it is pronounced as Bhutan, I guess. Yes, Bhutan. Yes. Bhutan. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I think it's really common for Bhutanese young people to come to India for mm. education especially a higher education like in university so I uh, there was this one consultancy so I enlisted in their like agent and then they recommended me this university and yes that's how I ended up coming here <laughs> <laughs> and your sister is married to a Indian man I guess um no they uh, she have uh, like she hasn't done it yet but she does have like uh, someone uh, like a fiance. <laughs> okay. Is, huh. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, yes, uh, I'm really curious about you. So, like, um, are you? So you are, like, you moved to Delhi from. 
Yes, I am from Gwalior, but for study purpose or for job, I came to Delhi, oh. and now it's been three three years. Yes. Oh wow! So, are you living alone, or are you uh, like did you move with your family? Yeah, earlier I was living with my brother and my mother, but due to this COVID situation, they went back to my hometown. But uh, right oh. now, I'm the only one who is staying here in Noida. Oh okay, I see. Alright, and how do like how do you feel? Are you like okay living by yourself? Yeah, I'm really absolutely okay because like whenever I'm with my family, I feel so comfortable and I don't feel like doing anything. So, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so that's why I live alone so that I can cook my food and I can work and I can work till late night because in families, if you're living with your parents, then you have to sleep. At ten o'clock or around eleven o'clock, and sometimes I feel like working in the night. So uh, I really enjoy living alone. Oh, okay, that's good. All right, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> okay. But sometimes I miss my family as well, so I go to meet them. And usually, the on the festival times, I uh, go to my hometown and I celebrate with them. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay, so like, how like so have you? How long has it been since you have lived by yourself? Just this COVID situation, just six months. It's been six months. Okay. Oh, that that's not bad. Okay. Mm. So, like, uh, I've watched few videos of you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed it. It was really nice, actually. Okay. So, uh, yes. Do you mind sharing something about it? Uh, uh, about you are talking about YouTube videos, right? About your career and how it all started. <laughs> It's really nice. I really enjoy shooting videos and teaching on YouTube because earlier I was working in a company and due to this COVID situation, a lot of people got fired from their job. So I I also lost my job and I thought this time I will start something of my own and I started this YouTube channel and it's really going so well so far. We are yeah we are around fifteen thousand subscribers now and. <laughs> Yeah, so I come live. I teach students. Sometimes mm -hmm. I shoot videos and post it, mm -hmm. and earning quite good. So it's really okay. good to like you are working for yourself. You don't need any pressure of someone. Yeah. So. <laughs> and you can work any time you want. You don't have to <laughs> wait true, for anyone. That's true. That's <laughs> true. Just create your content, shoot your video, edit it, and post it. Oh, that's brilliant! Yes. <laughs> so earlier, when I was working in a company, I feel so. I used to feel so lethargic. Like I don't feel like working. But now I'm working for myself. So I, whenever I wake up, so I there are thoughts in my mind that okay, today I have to do this. I have to do this. Oh, okay. Oh, that's really good. So you feel motivated because yes. you're doing it for yourself. That's really important. Yeah, I think that's good. Yes. <laughs> okay. And uh, yes, do you have your own team that you're working with, or are you working, you know, like independently? No, actually, one of my friend is there who helps me in editing the videos and uh -huh. giving some ideas that on in this topic we should shoot uh -huh. videos now. So we both uh -huh. both people are managing the thing. Oh, that's very good. Uh, mm. Someone to help you. I think that'll be too much if you have to do everything by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we just need someone who keeps us motivated because sometimes mm. we get demotivated as well. Mm -hmm. That's true. <laughs> and it really requires a lot of patience when you don't have good number of subscribers. So yeah. when I had only hundred or five hundred of subscribers, I used to get very demotivated. Why I'm doing this? I should quit it. But now, yeah. after seeing the results, I'm so happy. <laughs> Oh, that's really good. Yeah, I think like patience is very important. Like to be consistent that's and have true. patience. <laughs> <Thank Yes. you. laughs> wow, thank you. Like it's amazing. Like you're really young right now. You're doing many things and you're enjoying your work and you're like <laughs> like working things out very well. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> so it was really wonderful talking to you. So yes. by the way, which place uh, you are staying in Delhi? Oh, okay. So it's in Dwarka. 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 I think that. The, yes, I think. Okay, my pronunciation <laughs> is a little bit different. <laughs> yeah. mm, that's completely fine. So it's quite near to my place. If we get any chance, then we will meet. Oh yes, that'd be nice actually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so which uh, which mall is near to your place from Dwarka? Oh, oh, there is this Pacific Mall, Dwarka Pacific Mall. I think it was newly opened. Yes. Have okay. You okay. Heard about it? No, yes, I no, I haven't heard. Oh, okay, so it's a uh, called Pacific Mall, so it's near, like in the same sector, I think. Like, mm -hmm. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, Ben. Yes. Okay. So, I uh, have a few questions. Do you mind if I ask you? Yeah, yeah, please ask. Okay. So, how did you celebrate your Christmas? Did you do anything for yourself? No, like usually I I was I planned to go outside and I sell, I uh, thought to share some uh, sweets and biscuits to poor kids, but oh. like to like yesterday I was quite busy and I couldn't do that. So, planning oh. to do today. Today oh, or this. might be tomorrow. Oh, wow, impressive. Okay, <laughs> wow, that's really good, actually. Yeah, <laughs> you're really inspiring, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so you're much. <laughs> you're welcome. Any plans for your new year? Uh, we'll be going uh, my hometown on New Year. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, so did a lot of shopping and all. Went to Chandni Chowk. Have you heard about Chandni Chowk in New Delhi? Yes, I have, but I haven't been there, uh, actually. Yes, it's seriously very crowdy, very crowdy. Oh, okay. Is it a nice place? Like, I've seen, like, Chandini Chok, like, uh, while I, like, was traveling from airport and those things. Like, this place is, it. like, quite good for shopping. You will find so many discount and so, so many shops are available over there. But okay. the crowd is, like, you can't face the crowd. It's very <laughs> crowdy. <laughs> Oh, okay. I think that will be a little bit difficult, especially yes, right now. <laughs> have you traveled in Delhi Metro? Yes, I have, but I did not travel when it was busy. Mm -hmm. I usually travel like during like um, like daytime when everyone is working. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because like if you travel in the morning or in the evening, then you will see the crowd of Delhi. Oh, I can't imagine <laughs> going there. <laughs> Seriously, when I used to travel to my work, so it was so crowdy, I used to feel so suffocative, like uh, oh. standing in between like so many people and all. Oh, it was like literally crushing you in between, like everyone <laughs> pushing around. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, that's true. <laughs> it was really wonderful having conversation with you. Yes, it was. Yes, thank you so much for attending the lesson. Yes, <laughs> and yes. Uh, do you have any question before we end our lesson or anything you'd like? No, to that's ask? all from my side. It was really wonderful to meet you. Yes, and it was pleasure to meet you as well. <laughs> and hope to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank okay. You. Bye bye. Have a nice day ahead. Yes, you too. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Take care. Yes. <laughs>